So guys, first you want to make sure the graphics card drivers are fully up to date. So for me, I have an NVIDIA graphics card and I'm using GeForce Experience. You might have an AMD graphics card, so you can use the software that comes with that. You want to head over to drivers and then click on check for updates. And make sure your drivers are fully up to date. Then you want to head over to home, if you're on GeForce Experience. And then you want to find Cyberpunk. You want to click on details and then click on the spanner. And then change this to performance and click on apply. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in firewall and network protection. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to click on allow and amp through firewall. Now once you're on this, you want to click on change settings. And then you want to click on allow another amp and click on browse. Now once you're on this, you want to find where you have Cyberpunk installed. So for me, it's on my C drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Cyberpunk, bin, x64. And then you want to find the Cyberpunk 2077 exe file. You want to double click on it, which will then add it here and click on add. And then you want to click on OK. For the next step, you want to head over to Steam or any other launcher that you have the game installed on. And then you want to right click on the game and then click on properties. And then click on installed files and then click on verify integrity of game files. If you're using Epic Games or the GOG launcher, the steps might look a bit different, but you still want to try to verify the game files on the launcher itself. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates and do the updates to your computer you may have. Now for the last step, you want to head over to search again and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you're on this, we're going to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. Now once the scan has been completed and you completed all the other steps in the video, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.